scroll of blessing. Set that rush reload thing. Okay, forget that. Trading damage for deflection. Does it have to be one or the other? Can I? Turn one off. Okay. What's a metal killing machine doing out here by himself in a cave anyway? Collecting his thoughts? to clean. Sizes in a wide array of colors. Direwoodians are known for their modest rustic hats, while Valayans are associated with broad brimmed hats featuring a variety of exotic plumes. Okay. No stats, though. Apparently, it's purely cosmetic. Okay, so it looks like this one's better. Although recovery time is plus twenty percent. Can give it a shot. Actually I'll put this in her personal inventory. Pistol, um do we get anything better for him yet? Oh, he has a bow, too. I 
I think I just might need to give that to her. See how that works out. Warbo two-handed. Although I can't remember if it was longbows or... Uh, short bows that I specialized in. I'll have to look that up. So the saber is better than that. Uh, torch, what about the shield? Uh, okay, so that looks largely the same. You want a hat, buddy? Sure, why not? Oh, they have little companions. Alright, so it doesn't look like I got anything too... too crazy. Recovery time, 5.3 seconds. 17 to 24. Okay, yeah. All right, back. looks like everyone's kitted out the best they can be. Oh, would you look at that? Damn, pirates! Andra, take your scabrous souls for fish food. Okay, traps. Traps and other hidden items can be discovered while exploring. A character's ability to discover hidden items is tied to their perception, and their ability to disarm a detected trap is based on their mechanic skill. Any character, including enemies, can trigger a trap. Once activated, traps cause injuries to any character hit by them. Alright, I'll look at interrupt later. Damn pirates. Andra, take your scabrous souls for fish food. Bayadol! Still alive and calling everybody scabrous, I see. Well, now we got a bosun. Just need a boat. Adair! And I see that corpse we've been carting around is looking a slight more sprightly. Good to see the two of you, but mind your step. I've got myself in a spot of trouble. Been trying to find a way past without losing a leg or getting a face full of poison. Okay, I can take well, care of you. Well, I sting traps. something fierce, so mind yourself. Huh? All right. Sure. It's mine now. Leave it to me. Why not? Traps all over the damn place. things better. Sure. Breastplates. Ah, bless you, lady. Would have been a sorry way to go. Caught up in a dead pirate's trap. It's just bats and stinking corpses in this cave. You find anyone else? He gingerly sets his weight on his injured foot, grimacing. Got a campfire going on the beach. And I'll head that way myself. See you on the beach, Captain. All right, sweet. Oh, it doesn't like teleport us out. That's no a bummer. Uh, 
Is there anything else to see here? Nope, I think that's about it. Did a pretty good job with the camera in this, I'd say. Seems to jump around intuitively, follows the people when you want it to, it doesn't when you don't. Campfire, see what everyone's up to. Should have known you come out of this in one piece, you old crank. I'd rather die than let you save other ship's last drop of ale. What a mess. We'll be needing help getting the Defiant off the ground. Do you know anything about this? We place? got turned around in that storm. Hard to be sure just where we are. What do we do now? Not much chance of us moving the ship on our own, but we're in charted waters. There's bound to be a town nearby. Good news, Captain. I found some supplies must have washed ashore. Even better. I've located some spirits. The mundane kind, I mean. Nothing that requires your talents, Watcher. His eyes twitch and twinkle in delight. Have you seen any other survivors? We're spying over the ship. Magra and Willing, someone weathered the crash without getting dipped in the sea. He makes an exaggerated show of wringing water from the lower edge of his padded jacket. There is also the cave to the north. Even if it holds no survivors, there could be shelter. What do you think we should do now? But standing here, for one. Worth having a spy about this place. It may be there's more of us who've survived Magran's trial. Let's see. Goddess of War. Okay. There I'll is a cave these eventually. to the north. <laughs> yeah, could yeah, be yeah. Hethnev here. I can that much. Means we're a sight better off than we could be. Okay, so Kith is used to describe the dominant civilized races of Aora, including humans, Almanad, dwarves, elves, orlins, and godlike. Of course. It's surely pirate territory. They have a number of bolt holes out this way. I'd nay be surprised if that cave up north is one of them. Could be they lie in wait for us even as we speak. A twinkle in his eyes belies his foreboding tone. Yeah, right. Uh, I'll check this out really quick over here. Oh, this is the ship. Leave it to me. Why not? Rope and grappling. Oh, interesting. Okay. So they have an actual use. Help! Somebody... The Defiant is looking far worse for wear after its unexpected landfall. The hull has splintered in several places along the keel. Well, the tattered sails stand as evidence of your battle with the pirates. The deck of the Defiant is well out of reach from here. The ship groans like a beached whale each time the waves roll in, but it doesn't seem to be listing further. You may be able to climb up. Uh, athletics. Aha! Rope and grappling hook. So one can throw, and the hook sails up over the rail, catching firmly. A few tugs suggest that the grappling hook should hold fast. The rope makes the ascent cons considerably easier. You soon find yourself climbing up over the rail. Oh, more survivors. You're looking better, Casita. That, or I'm worse off than I thought. <laughs> The sheen of sweat on her brow and the 
Uh, Wan casts to her features belies Arena's casual greeting. It's my leg, Matiko. It hurts even worse than it looks. Arena's leg bears a bloody gouge along the length of her shin, and the swelling around her knee suggests a nasty break. Ouch. Okay, so this is a survival skill or strength. Oh, interesting. Uh, my strength is pretty good, so Quite screw romantic, Casita. I'll try not to hold it against you if you drop me. Yay! Oh, level up. Alright, your character has not earned enough experience to advance in level. Click the plus icon on their portrait to level them up. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna go with stealth. Passive skills. Um, so, so far we're a diplomat and a bluffer. Uh, survival can be used in conversations and scripted interactions that involve wilderness challenge. Uh, let's just go with bluff. Oh my. Merciless companion. Animal companions do small amounts of sneak attack damage against targets that qualify. Uh, I'm gonna check into these and then I will restart the video. Okay, I read these. Um, I can either do Marked Prey, or I can upgrade my companion a little bit. Um, I'm thinking about making him a little more resilient. Although, might not hurt to have another ability to use. I'll, I'll just do a build it, ability for now. Okay, I think it's all set. Perfect. Empower. You can now empower your abilities or yourself. Once per fight, you can use empower on an active ability to make it much stronger. Alternately, you can use Empower on yourself to replenish a portion of your ability resources. Uh oh. To empower an ability, uh, click the little swirly thingy on your action bar and then select the ability you want to empower. Restore resources uh, and click your character's portraits or selection portrait circle. You can only use it in power once per fight and a limited number of times between rests. Resting at an inn or, inn or using food and drink while resting at other locations will restore all of your empower points. Interesting. And interrupts. Uh, some. Okay, so this is fairly standard. If they're like casting or something. Okay, we're in the world map. Okay, it doesn't look like anything crazy. Hard track. This is kind of cool. In the distance, you see a simple wagon. The angle at which it rests on the road, one side jutting above the other, suggests that it has been damaged or disabled. Even from your vantage, you can make out Kith milling around it. Yeah, let's sneak closer. Okay, success. As you near the cart, you make out a group of Ritzaran pilgrims in a rough spun linens and cottons. 
single draft horse stamps at the ground impatiently as two of the pilgrims argue over the front right wheel, which seems hopelessly stuck in the mud. Ambush and attack. Um, yeah, let's just approach. One of the pilgrims notice you. Uh, her step back draws the attention of the others, and a man in well-worn uh, gamson steps forward. The weight of deep concern hangs on his face. Did the dreams bring you here as well? Eh? Uh, the other pilgrims look at you with a mix of apprehension and hope. Um, dreams? We are farmers. Uh, come from Ritzeris. Uh, to work on the colony fields here. We're believers. All to the one. In the light of Aethys. Oh. Interesting. The other pilgrims nod fervently in agreement. A woman with a smiling baby lifts the infant's hand uh, to wave. We've been having dreams. Three stars sailing through the sky, piercing the black of a storm cloud. Figured it must be him, Aethys, calling to us. So we came, came here, to the place we saw in our dreams. The pilgrims look around, matching their sleeping memory to the present. We saw the giant pass with three stars on his brow, but... He sighs and gestures to the wagon stuck in the mud. Sad to say we can not follow him. Uh, Will stuck as stuck gets. None of us are strong enough to lift that corner up and something's under it. To get something under it. Uh, more than one of us tries and we just get in each other's way. The other pilgrims nod and stretch, suddenly remembering their aching bodies. Uh, um, let me take a look. A brief inspection reveals that uh, the wagon is undamaged, but the wheel is stuck in the mud. We have some wood, the old man says. He gestures at the back of the wagon. If we can get the wheel up, we can slide it underneath it. Inside the wagon, you'll see several, you see several planks of wood. A small box of valuables sits to the side. One of you younger dawn stars looks at you. One of the younger dawn stars looks at you, eyes wide. Reckon you can lift it? Um, I do believe I can. I am pretty strong. Oh, he's actually stronger. Okay. Undersquares himself to the wagon's corner, squats deep, and rests the wheel up from the mud with a grunt. A young dong star stands in shock for a moment, reacting just in time to thrust a thick board beneath the wheel. It takes the better part of an hour to lay down a safe path for the wagon to roll free of the mud. The laboring dawn stars glisten with sweat, but uh, laugh happily as they sing songs of praise for Aethys. And two hours pass. Uh, but we didn't get anything out of it. Smiling, their leader presses a small pouch of coins into your hand. We appreciate the help. Without you, who knows how long it might have been stranded here. We might have been stranded here. They begin to prepare their wagons as uh, they take your leave. Okay, so I got some money. 15 silver. Alright, sweet. The old man calls out to you as you go. Take care of yourself and your soul traveler, whether you came for Aethys or not. We know in our hearts that he has come for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, alright, I think I'm gonna stop this here. Um, seems like a good stopping point. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.